land with your feet flat, knees bent, arms down beside you, palms facing upwards. If it feels like your head is being tipped back, then just pop a cushion or a towel or something under your head so your spine is in neutral alignment. Now just imagine lengthening your tailbone towards your heels. Gently draw your belly button in. And just as you pull your tummy in, feel your lower back gently press towards the mat. Think of sliding your shoulder blades in towards your spine and gently press the tops of the arms into the floor. Again, your chin shouldn't be tilted back and you don't want it jammed forward either. So it should have length in the front and back of your neck. And just stay here and breathe. Allow the muscles alongside your spine to relax so that the spine itself can relax. So breathe in and out through the nose. As you breathe in, feel your ribcage expand. As you breathe out, gently pull your tummy a little bit tighter. And just stay here for five to ten breaths. That's a good way to check your posture because your back is totally supported. So it can be a correct posture. You can also tell if you're tense in your shoulders. One of the main reasons we experience back pain is poor posture, too much time spent sitting or standing, a weak core, and also your feet. If you've got flat feet and you don't wear um, foot supports, that will cause back pain as well. So as you breathe in, imagine lengthening your tailbone towards your heels and extending the crown of the head towards the wall behind you. And with each exhale, feel your arms relax, your muscles alongside your spine relax. Make sure you're not tensing your legs. And again, keep drawing your belly button in towards the spine. And just take a couple more breaths. If you're doing this on your own, you can literally stay here for as long as you need. It's a great, simple way to release tension in your back. And when you're ready, stretch your legs out, reach your arms out, take a breath in. As you bring that, keep coming your tummy in. You're going to draw the right knee in. You're going to curl the head and shoulders off the floor. Land in front of the nose towards the knee, but keep the shoulders relaxed. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, draw the left knee in. So we're alternating legs. As you pull the knee in, just be careful you're not tensing your shoulders. If you're using your tummy muscles, and press your other leg down to the floor, even if that means you, you don't reach your knee. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, curl it up. So this is start to release the back of your body. This time, draw your right knee in and relax your head and shoulders. And just stay here. And relaxing your back, pressing your other leg down into the floor. And keeping your tummy pulled in, extend your left leg up to the floor. You're going to inhale, lower it almost to the floor, and exhale, pull it back up. Inhale, lower down, exhale, pull it back up. Remove from hitting the chair, so that you're using your tummy muscles. Inhale, down, exhale, pull it up. So you can slow down. Swift on the way up. So we're strengthening our core muscles. If it feels like your back is arching, then don't take the leg for it so far. In and out. In and out. Two more. Just stretching the leg away from you. And bring both knees in. Inhale, stretch both arms and legs out. Exhale, draw your left knee in, bring your nose to your knee. Relax your head and shoulders. And just take a breath or two here, hugging that knee in. And then we're stretching out and relaxing the back of your body. And keeping the tummy pulled in. 
Stand your right leg up to the ceiling. Inhale, lower it almost before. Exhale, fold it back up. So the rest of your body stays still. We are using those tummy muscles to pull that knee up. In and out. In and out. Twice more. So really good amount for the nose. Yeah, and hug those knees in. Just gently rock a little bit. Side to side. Inhale, stretch. Arms and legs out. Scoop the belly in. Exhale, bring both knees in. Reach forwards if you're trying to reach your heels. Again, relax your shoulders. Inhale, stretch. Exhale. Draw it back. Once more. In. And out. And pop your feet down. Pop your head down. Stretch your right leg up. Now you can wrap a towel or dressing gown cord around your foot so you can relax your shoulders. Ease that leg towards you. Just check you're not tensing your upper body. So you keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. So even if that means hold you a little bit lower down. If you've got tight back, you've got tight hamstrings. If you've got tight hamstrings, you've probably got a tight back. So this is one of my favorite ways to stretch out the back of the body. So you think all the muscles in your legs attach to the muscles in your back. So stretching out the hamstrings helps to stretch out your back as well. So ease it towards you, but just make sure you're not lifting your bum off the floor. So you might be back here somewhere, you might have the knee bent, that's absolutely fine. Very gently, there's no rush. Try and keep the rest of the body nice and relaxed. Want to find a point where it's mildly uncomfortable, but not so much that everything's shaking and starting, you know, you're holding your breath. Keep the breath going, it's most important. So if you're doing this by yourself, you can hold this stretch literally for a couple of minutes. But today we're going to switch sides and notice how one side feels compared to the other. You know, don't be in so much of a rush to reach the foot that you tend to sit upper body. Focus on keeping the rest of your body relaxed as you draw that leg in. It doesn't matter if yours doesn't come as far as mine, that's not important. And just visualize the muscles in your legs, the muscles in the back of your body. And breathe deeply. Each time you exhale, see if you can come a little bit further. Again, you can hold that locket if you want to. Bring your feet close to your bum, hip width apart, arms down beside you. Press your arms and shoulders into the floor. Roll your spine up. Then interlink your hands, bring your shoulders together. Take a couple of breaths here, squeezing your bum, think of squeezing the backs of your legs. As you breathe in, lift your chest to your chin. As you breathe out, press into your arms, press into your feet, so we push the floor away. We're trying to engage the back of the body as we stretch out the front of the body. So inhale, lift. Exhale, push the floor away. Then squeeze your butt cheeks super tight. And think of lengthening the spine. Onto your hands, wiggle out the shoulders, roll down one vertebrae at a time. Draw the knees in. Inhale, bring the nose to your knees. Exhale, roll or push yourself up. Sit your hips back. Now, you might want to do this against a wall so you can make sure your spine's nice and straight. If you can, straighten your legs. If that makes you do that, then bend your knees and lift up the side. It's better if you're against a wall because you can tell whether you're sitting up straight or not. Shoulders back, flex your feet and lengthen up. It's far easier to slouch. It doesn't take any effort to slouch. So you will find that it, it's harder than it looks. You can work to try and straighten your legs. Imagine pushing through your heels and really firm up your thighs. Still drawing your belly button in. Chin tucked in slightly. Imagine stretching the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. 
Bring your arms and elbows together, arms up high. You're going to inhale, open the arms out, try to press them against your wall. Exhale, press the arms together. Inhale, open out. Exhale, press the arms together. So again, it's best if you're going to do this against the wall. So when you open your arms out, you can press your elbows against the wall. Exhale, just bring the arms in. Try not to let the elbows drop. Keep your legs strong, even if your knees are bent. Keep flexing your feet in and out. So working the whole body, working your core muscles, your leg muscles. As you open the arms, open the shoulders, press the arms against your wall. Once more in and out. And relax the arms. Bring your legs around. Come onto your hands and knees. Hands onto your shoulders, knees under your hips. You're going to inhale, lift your tailbone, lift your heart. Exhale, tuck your tailbone under, bring your chin to your chest. As you flex, imagine pulling the hands towards you. As you arch up, imagine pushing the hands into the mat. And visualize your spine, imagine your x ray vision. Imagine making your spine nice and flexible like a string of pearls. Keep your arms straight so the movement is just in your spine, not in your arms. Inhale. As you exhale, pull your belly button towards your spine. Relax your tummy as you breathe in. As you breathe out, scoop your belly button in. After a few repetitions, your back should start to feel a little bit looser. Yeah, once more. And sit back on your heels, keep your knees back hip width apart, take your hands out, back shoulder width apart. You're going to inhale, sneak along. Lift your chest a little bit, squeeze your back, shoulders relax, and exhale, scoop the belly in as you snake back. And inhale. If your shoulders are a little bit stiff, take your hands wider and further forward. You can also try taking your legs a little bit wider. So elbows bend out to the side to give yourself room to come through. You can stay low or you can come up a little bit higher. But again, just check you're not tensing your shoulders. And exhale as you snake back. And do a few more of those. So you're using your back muscles and your tummy muscles. Keep your thighs firm as you come forward. Give me one more. Again, move your eyes in the spine. Press your hips into the mat. Exhale. As you snake back. And come forward onto your belly. Onto your elbows. Elbows narrow. Legs a little bit wider than hip width. Press into your arms. Look forward. Lift your hips. Scoop your belly in, pull your tummy in even tighter. Keep your eye gaze forward. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, straighten your legs, push through your heels. Now hold and breathe without tensing your shoulders. So firming up the whole body. You have a strong back and a strong core. So each time you breathe out, pull your tummy in even tighter. Squeeze your bum, squeeze your thighs. Keep your eye gaze forward, the head drop, head's really heavy. And stretching your heels in one direction, crown your head in the other. Even if you can only hold it for a second to start with, rest and enjoy this when you're ready. Just try to take two more breaths. If you're shaking, that's good. If you feel it in your lower back, it's because your hips are too low. And release. Press up and sit back. So release any tension in your back. Grab 
you have a chair, we'll do this on your sofa. Up your legs. On the chairs is great for the end of the day if you're on your feet a lot. If you get tired legs, it's a great exercise. Arms out, you can even put some padding under your shoulders or you can put padding under your hips to make it a little bit more comfortable. And this will help release tension in the spine. You imagine we spend most of our time the other way up and gravity literally presses, presses everything down. So we're kind of reversing it. We're not quite upside down, but our feet are higher than our head. And already I can feel my lower back relaxing. So you can put a cushion onto your hips. You can even have your legs higher if you want to, higher up on a chair. And relax your shoulders. And you can literally stay here for as long as you like. It's great to do before bed. You can even do it in bed with your feet up on your headboard or against the wall. But again, you can stay as long as you like here. And not only will it refresh your legs, it will ease any tightness in your back. When you're ready to come out, just be careful and roll off to one side before you ease yourself back up. Fantastic. Enjoy the rest of your day.